Yesterday we touched a little bit on general solutions. Now today we're going to combine the general solutions with compound angles and <coughs> all the other trigonometry identities. When I give you a range for theta, you must remember that you have to work out k, the values for k, for minus 1, 1, 0, etc. So just remember that. And now we start with our equation. I see a pattern. Cos, cos, sine, sine. So what does this simplify to? Cos, cos, sine, sine. Simplifies to cos theta minus, cos changes the sign, minus 24 degrees, and that equals 0, 0,715. <coughs> this is a positive answer. So on our cost diagram, we have to look at where is cos positive at those two quadrants. <coughs> now we need a reference angle to use in these two quadrants. And you get the reference angle by saying theta minus 24 degrees is cos to the power of minus 1, 0. 0.795. You don't have to write this step. It's just for me, for clarity for those who don't understand. And now you get your reference angle. And that is 44,356 degrees. This is the angle that we are going to use to calculate the angles in the quadrants. Because cos is positive in two quadrants, we will have two sets of values with an OR in the middle. The first one will be theta minus 24 degrees equals the first quadrant is the reference angle as it is. 44,356 degrees plus K times 360 degrees. Why do I use 360? Because Cos's period is 360. Now we calculate theta. I take the minus 24 degrees over the equal sign, add it to the 44, and then we get 68,36 degrees plus K times 360 degrees. This was for the first quadrant. Now we have to work out the fourth quadrant. Or, theta minus 24 degrees will be equal to 360 degrees minus the reference angle, 44,356, plus k times 360 degrees. Get theta alone. Theta equals, take the minus 24 over the equal sign. So it's 360 minus 44 plus 24. And that equals 339,64 degrees plus K times 360 degrees. And K is an element of Z. Don't forget this, otherwise it's minus 1. Now, they gave us a range for theta, so we have to work out if k is 0, if k is 1, if k is negative 1, etc. to see which angles lie in that range. So we start with theta and 
we work with k equals negative 1, k equals 0. <coughs> if theta equals 68,36 degrees plus k times 360 and k is negative 1, we get an angle of negative 291,64 degrees and that lies outside of the range. So this angle is not applicable. Now let's try zero for k. If k is zero, then my answer is 68,36 degrees and that lies within the range so yes, that one will do. If we make k equal to 1, it means that I have to add 360 to the 68. And I will get an answer outside the range. So I can stop here. Let's try the other option. 339. 64 degrees plus k times 360. If we substitute k with negative 1, we get negative 20,36 degrees. That lies within the range, so yes, that one will do. If we make k 0, it means that this falls away and we have 339 degrees. That's outside the range, so this will not do. 339,64, not applicable. If I go higher with k, it will get larger and larger, so that won't work. If I go lower with k, I get very, very, very small or smaller degrees, and that also won't work. So my conclusion is that theta is 68,36 degrees or theta equals negative 20,36 degrees for the general solution. Okay, they gave, us, they gave us a range as negative 90 till 90. Okay, let me write it here. Theta must be between negative 90 and positive 90. So my answers must lie in that range. Okay, any more questions? Can I carry on? <laughs> Example number two. If cos equals half a sign, show that this will reduce to tan. So this is not a general solution. This is a sum like yesterday's. Prove a certain identity. Okay. So we start with cos theta plus 30. We can expand this to what? Cos theta plus 30. Yes. Cos cos minus sine sine. So it's cos theta cos 30 minus sine theta sine 30 equals half sine theta. Um, I want to get rid of this half, so I must multiply this whole side with 2 and every term with 2. I then get 2 cos theta cos 30 minus 2 sin theta sin 30 equals sin theta. Can you 
close the wave glass, please? It's a terrible noise. The cos theta, I can't do anything with. But cos theta, I can use my triangle. Calculate cos 30 and that will be square root 3 over 2 minus 2 sine theta and sine 30 is a half equals sine theta. This half here can cancel out with the 2 in front and this half here can cancel out with the 2 in front and then I get Square root 3 cos theta e minus sine theta equals sine theta. If I take this sine theta over to the right hand side, I will get plus. So on the right hand side, I will have 2 sine thetas equal to square root 3 cos theta. Now I'm working towards this one. How will I get a tan if I have a cos and a sine? Sine over cos. So I need to get an over cos here. Therefore, I'm going to divide cos here. So this will give me a sine theta. But there's nothing in front of the, of the tan, so I have to get rid of this 2 as well. I'm going to divide with the 2 on both sides. Then the cos is cancelled out and the 2 is cancelled out. And I get sine over cos equals tan. That equals square root 3 over 2. And that's what I want. Therefore, tan theta equals square root 3 over 2. <coughs> okay. Now they say, <coughs> hence, in other words, use this and find the general solution. So I'm going to use tan theta to find its general solution. Tan theta equals square root 3 over 2. This is a positive fraction. So I need to see where tan is positive. It's here and here. The reference angle will be tan minus 1 of square root 3 over 2. And that will give you 40. 0.89 degrees. Now you use your reference angle in those two quadrants to calculate theta. So theta will be 40,89 degrees plus k times. Because I work with tan, I'm going to use tan's period and that is 180 degrees. The third quadrant will be theta equals 180 degrees plus the reference angle plus k times 180 degrees. So theta will be 220,89 degrees plus k times 180 degrees. And what's the final thing that I have to write? K element of Z. And there's your answer for this sum. Not that bad. Can I carry on? Number three. Okay. Number 
Why? Because we didn't do the Kai thing because they didn't give us a range into where Thika must lie. The next one. What do you see if you look at the sum? What type of sum is that? A trinomial. So I'm going to just write this as a trinomial plus 1 times sine theta minus 3 equals 0. And what do you do with trinomials? You factorize. 2 sine alpha and sine alpha. 3 times 1, so it's plus 3 minus 2. <coughs> 2 sine alpha plus 3 equals 0. Or sine alpha minus 1 equals 0. Get sine alone, so... Sine alpha will be equal to negative 3 divided by 2. Now, if you look at your sine graph, what is the lowest that sine goes? <laughs> negative 1. But this is negative 1 and a half. So this means that this part has no solution. No, it's just for me to explain it to you. <coughs> the next part, sine alpha equals 1. Where is sine 1? Here, at 90 degrees. So my reference angle is 90 degrees and alpha equals 90 degrees plus k times 360 because 360 is the period of sine and k is an element of z. We only have one solution. Sine is only one at one place, so it's nine. Can I carry on with the next example? Find the general solution of cos plus cos. Okay. So I Yes, because we have the k times 360, so that, that part carries it over to the other side. Here I see a double angle. And because I have cos in the rest of the sum, I'm going to use the option of the three options here that only has coses. So it will be 2 cos square alpha minus 1 plus this cos alpha equals 0. Hmm? I now also have a trinomial. I just need to flip those two terms. So it's 2 cos squared alpha plus 1 cos alpha minus 1 equals 0. If you have a trinomial, you have to factorize. 2 cos alpha times cos alpha and 1 times 1. I need a positive 1, so it will be a positive 2 minus 1. So 2 cos alpha minus 1 equals 0, or cos alpha plus 1 equals 0. 
cos alpha will be 1 over 2. And the reference angle equals 60 degrees. This is a positive fraction. And if you use your cos diagram, cos is positive in those two quadrants. So alpha will be 60 degrees plus a times 360 degrees. Or alpha will be 360 minus 60 plus a times 360 degrees. That will give me 300 degrees plus k times 360 degrees. So here are my two solutions for the first bracket of the factorization. <coughs> if we look at the second part, cos alpha will be negative 1. If you look at the graph for cos, negative 1 is at which degrees? The reference angle will be 180. So alpha equals 180 plus k times 360. <coughs> I don't have a range for alpha. So these are my three options, and I just need to say k equals an element of z. Can I carry on? Example five. They like asking this one in tests. I need to change either the cos 3x or the sine 3x so that I can get an equation with the same trig functions. So which one will be the easiest to change? This one. Side, and I'm going to use my co-functions to change the sign to a cos. So if we have two coses, we can um, we can look at the degrees. So cos three x will be the same as cos of ninety degrees minus x co-function. Hmm. This cos is a positive answer, so I have to look at where is positive cosses, those two. And this is my reference angle. Always, the reference angle will be 90 minus x. I remember that. If you have two trig functions and you compare them, the one on the right hand side is your reference. So now I say 3x equals. For the first quadrant, I can just use my reference angle. 90 degrees minus x plus k times 360 degrees. Take this x to the left hand side, then it becomes 4x, 
equals 90 degrees plus k times 360. <coughs> Divide by 4, so x equals 22,5 degrees plus k times 90 degrees. That's one possible answer. Or, now I look at the fourth quadrant. 3x will be equal to 360 degrees minus the reference angle, 90 minus x plus k times 360. 3x will be equal to 360 minus 90 plus x plus k times 360. I'm going to take this x to the left hand side so it becomes a minus. 3 minus 1 is 2x. 360 minus 90 is 270, plus k times 360. Divide all the terms by 2, so x equals 135 degrees, plus k times 180 degrees. We don't have a range, so we stop there, but don't forget k the element of z. Any questions? Example number six. <laughs> Find the general solution of I just want to go back to to this example. That part where we had cos theta equals sine theta. And we changed this part into a tan by dividing with cos. You can only do that if the angles are the same size. If, for instance, there was a 2 theta and this was a theta, we can't change that to tan. And that's what we have here. I can't divide with cos here and divide with cos here to get a tan because the angles are not the same. So what must I do with this cos co-function? So sine of 3 theta plus 30 degrees equals the negative of change cos to sine 90 degrees minus 2 theta. My sign is negative, so in my cost diagram, sign is negative in the third and fourth quadrants. This is my reference angle. So, we say 3 theta plus 30 degrees equals, in the third quadrant, it will be 180 plus the reference angle, 90 minus 2 theta plus k times 360 degrees. I'm going to take this 2 theta to the left hand side. So, 3 theta minus 2 theta. Oh, wait. There must be a minus. Sorry. 3, three theta plus 2 theta gives me 5 theta. 
180 plus 90 gives me 270, minus 30 is 240 degrees, plus k times 360 degrees. No, you take the one on the right. Um, this is the angle that you start with. That is your level. <coughs> now I have to divide by 5. So theta is 48 degrees plus k times 72 degrees. That was for the third quadrant. Or oh, the fourth quadrant will be 3 theta plus 30 degrees equals 360 minus the reference angle plus 10 times 360. 360 minus 90 plus 2 theta, plus k times 360. I'm going to take this 2 theta to the left, so it becomes negative 2, and 3 minus 2 gives you 1 theta. 360 minus 90 is 270, 270 minus 30 is 240, plus k times 360. And remember, K is an element of Z. Our last example. Find the general solution for sine 2 alpha plus 2 sine alpha. I see a double angle there. So I can expand it to 2 sine alpha cos alpha plus 2 sine alpha equals 0. I can take out a 2 sine alpha as a common factor. Then we have cos alpha plus 1 equals 0. So the 2 sine alpha can be 0, or the cos alpha plus 1 can be 0. In this case, sine alpha will be 0 divided by 2 is still 0. Our reference angle is 0 degrees. Because where is sine? 0. Only here. At 0. Okay, let me quickly give you your homework for Monday. Please go through the last example on your notes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.